My name is Stephanie Pate Greer and I'm the president of Appalachian Regional Behavioral Health Care. I want to welcome you today to this tour of Appalachian Regional Behavioral Health Care Hospital. And during that tour, I'm going to share three specific components with you as we go along the way. Component number one is around safety. Safety of the patients that we're serving, the citizens of our community, and the staff that work here. Quality, quality of the services that we render, what the patient experience will be like, and the outcomes we anticipate delivering to you. And the third component is probably the most important component, and that is the component of dignity and respect of the patients that we're here to serve. Um, you'll see that embedded in everything we do throughout this tour, and I hope that you leave this tour with a different understanding of what we do, who we do it for, and what that experience may be like. So please join me on this tour and let me show you those three components of care that I've mentioned. This behavioral health hospital is also unique in that because it's a freestanding behavioral health hospital, we can allow patients to walk in for assessment for care. What that means very concretely is that patients will not have to go through an emergency department to be evaluated for admission. So our patients, our community, can present directly to First Floor Admitting Services of Appalachian Regional Behavioral Healthcare Hospital and receive an immediate assessment to determine the most appropriate course of care for that individual at that time. If that is outpatient, we will support them through developing discharge plans and outpatient follow-up appointments. And if that's inpatient, we'll start the inpatient admission process at that time. So our goal is to meet people where they are and for what they need at that given time. residential space has been designed with safety as the paramount component of care. So our patients will have options between private or semi-private residential spaces, but they'll spend very little time in these spaces. The schedule of the day mirrors productive adult life. If that is productive adult work life or productive adult school life, our patients will get up, they'll get ready, they'll start their day with meals, and then they will be actively engaged in treatment until bedtime at night. So these rooms, these spaces have been designed to assure individual and group safety, but really that's just for rest and restoration. As we go through this tour, you'll see many safety features in place throughout the entire facility. You'll see that we've maximized visibility. That's not only to maintain safety, but it's to create an environment and a space where people feel comfortable in knowing what's going on in their surroundings. Notice our visitation room has been designed with lots and lots of visibility and windows. That's because we know that families, friends, and visitors need to have a sense of security of knowing where their loved one is receiving care, even if they don't have direct access to it. So we've been able to create this environment that maximizes safety without compromising the quality of that clinical experience. You'll notice as we walk through that there are camera monitoring stations and we've got windows everywhere um, and mirrors in the hallways. That is for the peace of mind of the patients we serve as well as the people providing services in that area. The presence of our majestic mountain views and natural light that you see throughout is also very therapeutic. So to be able to create a space where people can feel the beauty and the peace of the environment around them is a powerful treatment tool in and of itself. We've also designed a dining experience that maximizes that patient dignity and quality of the experience they're receiving while with us. Our patients will actually have an opportunity for buffet style dining. Our nutritional services team will come up each day, we'll offer multiple meal times for patient choice and our patients will actually get to make meal choices as they go through the dining process. So in an environment where we can't allow a lot of individual choice due to those safety protocols that we keep referring to, we want to have an experience, a quality of experience that reinforces that power um, and importance of dignity and respect to the people that we're here to serve. Our patients will also receive an individualized custom treatment program. So the patient day will start at 6.30 in the morning and probably not end until around 8.39 at night. 
Our general philosophy of care is that if we're only going to have patients five to seven days, we're going to make every minute of that course of care count. The majority of the patient day is spent in the treatment hall environment because of this focus on the quality of treatment services that we render. Because of this technology that we've implemented in this space, we'll have the ability to capture the content of every group setting that each patient experiences and print that at the end of session that they can add to their treatment panel. We also believe that family involvement and family support is a cornerstone of quality care. So in addition to the technology in the group rooms, we have dedicated spaces for court, for outside meetings, for meetings with other therapists and attorneys and other physicians if appropriate, and we can pull people in virtually using this technology we've established. We have designed a specific space to allow for discharge consultation that is separate from the treatment environment. What that means is that at the time of discharge, the patient and the clinical staff will come down to our discharge consultation room we will bring the family member, friend, whoever's providing transportation home into that room and sit down in a quiet, uninterrupted environment and go over discharge plans. The relationship with us might not end at the time of discharge from inpatient. We do also have an outpatient clinic that serves ages five and beyond. And we provide an array of services that include, but are not limited to, assessment, medication management, psychological testing, individual therapy, and other supports as necessary for the patients in our care. I want to thank you for joining us on this tour today, and I hope that you've seen the three components of care that I mentioned when we started. Quality, safety, and the dignity respect of the patients that we're here to serve. I also hope that you leave this tour with an understanding that the people that we're serving are your loved ones, it's your family members, it's your friends, it's the people that we live and work with in our community. I also want you to know if you have a need, if you know someone who has a need, please reach out to us. We will be happy to help and we will be honored to help. Thank you.